So dear students, welcome to Theology class. Today we're going to talk about fasting. Fasting is the religious practice of abstaining from food or its western equivalents such as Facebook or vacuum. <coughs> Excuse me Mr. Grinholm. Didn't you know that fasting ceased with the apostles? No, I didn't. You see, fasting is not mentioned in the epistles, you know, it's dying out with the apostles. In the apostolic time, we needed to fast to understand God's will, but now we have the Holy Scripture where we can read what God wants and thus we don't need to fast. Okay, so what Mr. MacArthur, MacArthur says here, seems to me to be a form of cessationism, although cessationism is usually uh, applied to spiritual gifts. I don't believe in spiritual gifts anymore either, but I think it's pretty evident that this is true also when it comes to fasting. All right, of course you can believe whatever you want, but isn't there a risk for a slippery slope here? I mean, with your reasoning, your arguments, one can easily say as well that prayer ceases with yeah, the apostles. Yeah, prayer also ceases with the apostles. So wait a minute, you're a Christian and you never pray. I'm a pastor. You're a pastor? Mm -hmm. Good old evangelical Bible-believing pastor. Okay, Pastor MacArthur, I, I've never encountered this before. Can you describe what an ordinary church service looks like where you come from? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Uh, well, first of all, we meet in a church building because obviously house churches cease with the apostles. Uh, then we don't sing songs because songs and hymns and psalms and all that cease with the apostles. Uh, then we read the Bible because obviously Bible reading didn't cease with the apostles. That would be stupid now, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, after that we don't celebrate communion and we don't pray. And then we have coffee afterwards. All right, you know what? I think you highlight precisely the problem with cessationism, even if you limit it just to spiritual gifts. Because cessationism really is just a way for Bible-believing Christians to ignore really important parts of the Bible. You know, Jesus commanded his disciples to heal the sick, to fast, to pray, to celebrate communion. And he taught his disciples to make disciples that do the same thing that he commanded them to do. So cessationism really is incompatible with following Jesus. Oh, I don't believe that we should follow Jesus. Wait, what? Let's see with the apostles. Jesus. 